Peace and blessings, everyone. Welcome to the Alchemical Empress page. I'm your host, Nicola. I want to take this moment to acknowledge my veterans, my fellow veterans. Um, and I hesitate to say happy Memorial Day because I do realize that for some of us, Memorial Day is not about mattress sales, barbecues, and just hanging out and having fun. Some people choose to take the moment of acknowledgement and um, and twist the whole thing so that they can actually experience joy instead of pain. So I want to, you know, give kudos to those who are able to do that. But there, there are many people who are um, in remembrance today of those who have fallen away. And so I want to take a moment to acknowledge my sisters and brothers who are uh, in the struggle, in the battle of their remembrance of fallen loved ones from um, those who they serve with. And generally, um, the public, if they do remember that this day has significance to uh, many veterans besides barbecues and mattress sales, um, when they think of fallen soldiers, it's generally fallen soldiers, the way they think of it, uh, people who have uh, served and um, left this realm because of military service, they generally think combat and uh, somewhere over there, um, something happened and they got killed somewhere else. Um, and so it's kind of a one track type thinking around the fallen. And I'm here to offer those of us who are acknowledging those who have fallen a different way. Some of our comrades did not fall by the sword or the gun. Um, some fell by experiments of the government. Some fell by injections that was given to them by the people they went to serve for. And I am acknowledging them as well today in my time of acknowledging veterans who have served. Many left this realm not even understanding why they got sick. They didn't understand why their bodies took a turn and started to fight them. Um, they didn't understand what was happening that a young athletic body all of a sudden was unable to sustain them in this realm and begin to succumb to the illness that was put inside of them. But I am acknowledging those who fell because of those reasons, as well as everyone else who has fallen in combat service. I recently found out, I mean, when it, when I say recently, I mean, as, as, as recent as two week, uh, two, three days ago, three days ago, I moved to a new area. And so I had to sign up for a new primary care at the VA. And I found out that the VA tricked me by using uh, another scenario of why I was there to inject me with something that I did not know of, ask for, or uh, consent to. And I was wondering why I had some additional struggles as opposed to just what I was dealing with, what they did formally to me while I was in service. So this happened to me as a civilian. And I'm saying this to those of you who are civilians that may be watching this video. Also, those of you who may be uh, skeptical of those of us who've been sounding the alarm for quite some time about what has been happening to us because you didn't experience it the same way. Um, there are some, some nefarious things happening in the system 
And I'm trying to figure out the best route to go right now as far as being able to completely and fully express all the stuff that I have experienced and know about. So um, I'm looking at trying to, you know, maybe create a Patreon page or maybe if not a Patreon, another um, offshoot page from this YouTube channel to talk about some of the things that's uh, happening that's a little bit more in depth than I can express here on YouTube. But I want you all to know that a lot of the things that we experienced as veterans was a it was a experiment basically to see how they can enact this on those of you who are in the civilian world. And a lot of civilian population wonder, uh, why do I need this information? Well, ultimately it's gonna come down to you as well. So I thought that instead of holding on to that information, um, I would try to share as much as I can here. And then I'm gonna try to find offshoot ways to be able to put more information out. But I am finding out that they are doing a lot of nefarious things in the system that you're supposed to trust. I, I always say, um, especially lately, that when you encounter a crack addict, um, I'm not a crack addict, but a crack dealer on a corner, um, you don't expect them to, number one, have the public trust, to have a degree, and to be tr a trusted servant in um, society to be able to uh, expect something of them to do right by your body. You already know what you're going there to get and they're doing what they do. When you go to a doctor, you have an expectation that they have your best interests at heart, uh, but they're becoming much more nefarious than any crack dealer or any street, as, as um, Ali Sadiq was said, any street corner uh, pharmaceutical rep. <laughs> Um, then, you know, anybody that's out there that's, that they, they deem as bad, uh, it's, it's worse because this is a trusted, educated professional and, and they are doing this to the public right now. Um, if you're not aware of it, I'm trying to make you aware of the fact that you could literally go there in the hospital for one thing. Let's say you're going there. And I know the only way that they could have gotten away with this with me is I struggle with fibromyalgia pain. And sometimes I struggle with um, knee pain where I've had to have in the past cortisone shots. I don't do it anymore. But in order for them to get away with that, they would have had to mix it with a pain medication and slip it on me without me knowing about it. That's how nefarious they have been. I don't know how much of this video is gonna be able to stay up on YouTube or, or whatever, but I'm, I'm putting this out there because I want people to know what's happening. And so um, as I think about this day, a Memorial Day, I think about strong, powerful, amazing women that left my life way too soon, not because they got hit in a war zone, but because they got hit at home by the people they were in uniform to serve. And um, I give homage to them, I give reverence to them, and I'm gonna keep speaking on behalf of them and myself until people hear us. Um, there's a lot of stuff that we took the hits for that they're now playing out in the larger society. And I have so much more to say about that, but I won't right now because there's not a platform where I can actually speak my mind the way I want to. But I thought I'd come to you anyway and say as much as I can say. So anyway, I hope that those of you who may be in the struggle feel the comfort and the love of your spiritual team. I hope that those of you who are barbecuing and having fun take a moment to acknowledge those around you that may not be so well. Those of you who have loved ones that are in nursing homes or hospitals or whatever that have served, take a moment to reach out to them, to give them a call, to say hello, to ask them how they're doing and to make sure that they're okay. I know that this moment in time is generally much more um, sensitive for them than most days. 
So be kind, be uh, caring, reach out to those who may be suffering around you. And, and if you can just enjoy the day, enjoy the day. Until we meet again, peace.